Katie, we were talking to you just before the break there, but there was something that you really wanted to say, wasn't there? I just wanted to, like, thank you guys, thank all the viewers for, like, I don't know, sticking by me, basically, and um, there's a lot of things that have been said, but, you know, I had been going through a tough time and it's nice to be supported that I've come back and I am human at the end of the day and I realise keeping everything in isn't always the best thing. It's good to talk and I'm back better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> We mentioned, obviously, that, that Chris is in the audience. Hi, Chris. You're right. Um, you, you met <laughs> Katie at a, at a pretty tough time in her life. You know, normally when people get together, it's when everything's all lovely and people show the sort of best side of themselves. What was it about Katie that, that drew you to her? Because she was at absolute rock bottom. Do you know what? I think we, we just clicked early on and I just... I think I gave as good as she, she gave me, really. She was giving me a bit of grief early on. Banter so, means a, a bit good of banter, one. yeah, yeah. OK. And, um, no, we just hit it off. It, it, she was just genuine, really. I didn't know what to expect, How to be fair. How did you end up meeting each other? It, it, it was meant to be on a professional manner, you know. I was, <laughs> I was talking about training Harvey. Um, that's what I do for a living, so I've trained a lot of disabled children, um, a, little, a lot of complications, obesity, um, and that's how we met originally, but it, it went a bit further. Ah. Not that quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still training Harvey now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, right, he's okay. on a long journey, but we'll definitely get there. I mean, it's, okay. it's a challenge, but that's... I like, I like the challenge. Have you seen a change in Katie since you've Massively. met her? Massively. Really? I mean, she looks totally different. Like, yeah. When I met her, I, I'll be honest with her, I said that she looks too skinny, she looks ill and old. I said that to her. I'm, the I'm, surgeon <laughs> didn't do a good job, yeah. didn't he? Oh, <laughs> yes, I can just... see why you fell for his smooth talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What a charmer. I'll be, it's I'm just brutally honest with her. Like, there's not, what you see is what you get. Like, I said to her, look, you need to put on weight, you need to start training, you need to be healthier. She won't get up in the morning. And yeah. now she's first time I think she's ever been early. And is, is it right you're too tall? Hmm. Yeah, I, I very rarely drink. Very, okay. very. If if we went on an a if we went on a like a party, a wedding, or something, then I'd have a I'd have a couple of drinks. But I mean, the thought of drinking during a week just doesn't do anything. Yeah. For me. Like, Katie, does that mean have you stopped drinking and partying now? Because he doesn't drink. Well, I haven't, but I went through that stage. But like, even now in the media, yeah, tell them the truth, is it? We, I, sometimes so, I do sorry. appearances in clubs, and they'll take pictures and say I was drunk partying. You're driving, and you can stick up. I haven't even been drinking. It is frustrating because that's her job, isn't it? Like, if she yeah. goes to goes places for appearances and oh, we walked out we walked out of somewhere the other night and we had literally just had a cup of coffee and and we walked we walked out of the place and they must have took about a thousand pictures in a minute and if we all had a thousand pictures taken of us in a minute how many faces well, you have to pop? blink at some point yeah, you, yeah. Have, you have to breathe yeah. at some point you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I feel sorry for her like that she can't even leave. and she's made an effort to make sure she doesn't even have a drink in a nightclub when she does that because yeah. she knows someone might take a picture and it's too detrimental to her at this point so are you, are you not worried coming on board with Kate's crazy life? Because, so you know, partner. it's so it's so well documented. <laughs> it's not like you don't know what you're letting yourself in for. I mean, no, I know, I know what I'm letting myself in for, but her life is very... I mean, the, the life with the kids and the exes is very separate to me. I mean, I take her as she is and what she tells me. I mean, I don't watch much TV, to be honest, and she keeps telling me to watch this new show and I'd rather not watch it, I think. But cos <laughs> I'll just take it at what she tells me is correct, you know? Um, her kids have got their fathers, they're... That's not... I mean, I'm there to look after him if I need to, but that's a separate life to me. Um... Kate, you've not been single now for a really, really long time. You seem to never have a break. Like, you'll go from I know. a relationship to the next. Is this the next husband or are you going to slow things down? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh... Like... <laughs> oh, so what are you doing that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite old school. I need to know you a bit more before I get married. But that, that's good, cos... Um, do you know, in a way, it's a blessing in disguise. All what's happened to me has made me learn like, not that you want to know, but I'm on the pill, so I can't get pregnant. I'm not even divorced yet. And like I said, I'm going to enjoy it, enjoy it with him. There's no rush. And I wish, you know, I'm 40 now, and I think I'm growing up a lot now. You know, if, if I'm meant to marry, we're meant to marry, like... Yeah. And kind of what you're saying, and I know, you know, and as we all have done, I'm sure at some point, gone kind of from relationship to relationship, with everything kind of going on with your mum and everything, do you ever think, no, I just want to take a step back from all of this, all the publicity, anything, and just kind of really focus on your home life, your kids, your mum, you know, even, no offence, Chris, <laughs> but, like, just kind of, like what you're, you're saying, Stacey, like, just a time out, I suppose. The thing is, I absolutely love working. To me, work, work is my everything. I would right. never not work. OK, yeah, the, I have, like, that relationship with the media. They say stuff and whatever, whether it's true or not, but I absolutely love working. If I sat at home... When you sit at home, I think that's worse because you sit around mm. thinking about things. I like to be on the go, got the summer holidays to look forward to. 
Um, you know, I'm there for my mum. They, they said the other day that I'm in a sandwich. Have you ever heard that expression, I'm in a sandwich situation? If you, you haven't heard of it either, yeah. no. no. Basically, you're, you're, so, cos my mum's... I'm basically going to be her carer. So I've got my kids to look for, I'm in the middle, yeah. and then I'm caring oh. for my mum, it's like a sandwich. And I can't wait for that. I just said to my mum, at the end of the day, you'll just probably move in 20 years forward, and she knows I'll care for her really well, cos I'm, like, that nurturing one out of the family. Mm. So, you know, a lot of... We've been talking to a lot of people, so my head's in a better place, like... <laughs> that's so yeah.